one component of our relationship that is missing for me, and that is an intimate connection with him. Well, that doesn't surprise us because that's not the button you got out there. You got a button out there that says, this is so bad, I'm re getting ready to take off. That's, that's, the active, that's the active vibration. That's far from the vibration that is at the basis of intimacy. What, how could you describe intimacy? Caring, letting go when you're with some, when I, what I would like is for him to let go and fall in love with me instead of just making sure that the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted and the bills are paid and there's gas in the car and we can afford all of that. Kind of all of that, is, all of that is good. And you started to answer the question that we ask and then you answered the question that you wanted to answer. In other words, instead, and, and, and you started, you began telling us what's missing. Instead, okay. And so, and so what's happened, you see, there, there isn't anything wrong with your observation. You walk into a relationship and you begin observing it one way and you've let the way it is train you into your vibration. So because the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted and the bills are paid and da 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 because you're observing that and 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 observing that, that's the vibration that you've got going on. And so you've let the condition train your climate and now your climate brings you more of the condition that you do not want. So you say, I think I'm going to take me and my climate somewhere else. And we say, yeah, and you're going to get the same thing everywhere you go. Because isn't it nice to be the creator of your own experience? Yes. The eliciter of it, you see, the unconditional lover of it. It is our promise to you that as you hear us here today, and this is a, a sort of new communication that we're offering. It's just been recently that we've begun telling you all that the way that what moves from your vortex, which is where everything that you want is into the realization, into the reality that you want to live, what makes it possible for it to move from that unrealized state into that realized state is your practicing of your point of attraction. And so we've been reaching for words for a while. We called it your grid because it, it's a, it's an established state of being that we'll fill in with details, but grid sounds too rigid. It's a pliable fluid. It's a climate. It's an environment. It's something that you create. And if you can hear us, when we say to you, you have the ability to create this apart from what you're witnessing. Oh, if you can get that. In other words, that means if, if you don't have enough money and you can create an atmosphere where you feel prosperous apart from the reality that you're currently living, now your vibration is going to shift and the money will begin flowing in. And now your vibration is going to shift and the intimacy flows in. The shift happens, you see, but it's got to start with you. And so many of you, we get it. You say, Hey, I didn't feel like that till he acted like that. And he acted like that and that's why I feel like this. So he needs to act different so I can feel different. And we say conditional love will get you nowhere. You have to create the vibrational condition that allows you to receive from this person who we promised you has the ability to give you exactly what you want when the shift takes place within you.